Hello there, my name is Richard McMahon from the interview training website, passmyinterview.com. And in this tutorial, I will teach you how to write a civil service personal statement. So if you are applying for any job within the civil service, you will need to create a personal statement. And within this presentation, to help you succeed, this is what I will cover. So I will give you nine example civil service personal statements for all the success profile behaviours. And I will explain what those are as we work through the tutorial. I will also give you important tips for creating a solid civil service personal statement. I will then explain how you can download a copy of my example civil service personal statement examples. And I will also tell you how you can access further resources and videos to help you pass the civil service selection process. So there's four reasons to stay tuned. And just quickly, please do make sure you subscribe to this channel. We have over half a million subscribers now, and lots of you are passing your civil service applications and your job interviews as a result of the content I'm uploading. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn. I've placed my LinkedIn link in the description below the video. And please just give the video a like because that tells me you find the content useful. Thank you very much. So let's start off and take a quick look at the nine civil service success profiles, the behaviours. So they are, in no particular order, seeing the big picture, changing and improving, making effective decisions, leadership, communicating and influencing, working together, developing self and others, managing a quality service and delivering at pace. And you might be thinking, what are these behaviours? Well, you need to demonstrate these when you apply for any role within the civil service. And depending on the role that you are applying for will, will depend which behaviours you will be assessed against. So what is a personal statement? Well, a personal statement gives you the opportunity to detail your suitability for the civil service job role you are applying for by providing evidence that is in line with the assessable criteria. And that's the important part, providing evidence. We need to give them details of where we meet each and every one of the success profile behaviours that are applicable to the role we are applying for. And I will explain how to do that as we work through the presentation. Now, there is normally a maximum word count for each personal statement. Now, the ones I've created within this presentation are 250 words each. First and foremost, make sure you check your own word count on your civil service, civil service application form in respect of the personal statement you will need to create. So let's now start looking at my example personal statements for all nine civil service success profile behaviours. And don't forget, I will tell you where you can download these as we work through the presentation. So the first one we need to tackle is seeing the big picture. Now, the civil service success profile behaviour of seeing the big picture requires you to have knowledge of how your job fits in with the public sector mission and their objectives. Because it's important that you demonstrate within your personal statement that you can carry out your work in the best interests of the nation. So here's my example personal statement to help you. And this is for the civil service success profile of seeing the big picture. Here we go. I understand that seeing the big picture is essential within the civil service because the organisation is constantly changing and developing in order to continually provide an excellent service to the general public within this civil service role, I will need to look at things holistically and always focus on the end goal. Within this job, I will have a responsibility to support management decisions that are aimed at delivering the wider civil service mission, and I must constantly focus on the national objectives. Having already gained considerable experience in this area, I feel confident I can meet the requirements of the position. For example, in a previous role, my manager came into the office one day to explain how we would all need to take on additional duties due to the changing commercial financial climate. It was my responsibility to embrace the changes positively because the company had to continually adapt in order to maintain its market position. The company had a new strategic vision and I was keen to make sure I helped to implement this exciting approach to working. 
I worked hard to understand how my role would fit into the new objectives and I encouraged my co-workers to do the same. And at every stage of the transition process, I offered my support to my manager. By focusing on the big picture and by embracing the new way of working, I was able to assist the organisation in its commercial and financial objectives. So that personal statement, that civil service personal statement for the success profile of seeing the big picture is 246 words. So that's my example personal statement for seeing the big picture. And you will notice there, and this is important, take note of this, I have provided a specific situation where I believe I am meeting that competency, that behaviour of seeing the big picture. So I start off and I explain my understanding of what the behaviour is. I then give them an example. So that's a great way, in my opinion, to create a personal statement for that civil service success profile of seeing the big picture. Let's now take a look at changing and improving the next civil service success profile behaviour. Now, whilst working in the civil service, you must be open to continually changing and improving. I spent a lot of time in the fire service. I was an officer in the fire service and we always had to adapt to change and improvement continually. And this helped the fire service to continually stay ahead of its game and provide a brilliant service to the public. So it's important that you are able to change and improve continually. Because if you do not improve your performance at work or embrace changes positively, the civil service will not be able to meet its objectives. So here's my example personal statement to help you. And this is for the civil service success profile behavior of changing and improving. Here we go. For an organization such as the civil service to continually improve, its employees must be willing to continually change and adapt. I am someone who has always seen change as an important aspect of not just my own work, but of how an organisation delivers its services and how it meets its objectives. Whilst working in a previous role, my manager encouraged all team members to view change and improvement as an important element of our daily work. On that basis, the willingness and desire to seek feedback and adapt to it regularly is instilled in my daily work ethic. For example, during a performance review with my manager, I asked her for advice on how to improve my call handling efficiency rates. I felt I could improve in this area and I wanted to utilise her experience to make quick changes that would have a positive, long-lasting impact within the team. My manager recommended I undertake an online call handling course and I also spend some time with a more experienced member of our team who would provide me with tips on how to improve. I took on board her feedback and followed the advice. And within six weeks of the performance review, my call handling efficiency rates had improved by 15%. During our next team meeting, I shared my improvement experience with my co-workers and I suggested that if anyone else felt they could improve in this area, the advice my manager gave me was extremely worthwhile. So that word count is 249 words. It's just under the 250 limit, which is great. And again, you will notice that I have given a specific example where I asked for feedback from my manager that would enable me to then improve, which then helped the organisation. So in my opinion, it's a great example of how I have met the civil service success profile behaviour of changing and improving. Now, don't go anywhere because I still have another seven to work through with you and they are really important. There's some great tips in there for helping you to pass your civil service application. But when you're ready, if you want to click that link in the top right hand corner of the video, it takes you through to my website, passmyinterview.com and you can download my full set of nine civil service personal statement examples. They are all the ones that I'm working through today within this presentation. Let's now work on to the next one, which is making effective decisions. Now, all members of the civil service, regardless of their role, are required to make effective decisions that demonstrate value for money and efficiency. So when making effective decisions, you must use an evidence-based approach and carefully consider your options, including an assessment of the risks involved and the implications posed. So make sure you provide evidence of this civil service success profile behaviour within 250 words. Don't forget to check within your civil service application that the maximum word count is 250 words. If it's not, make sure you adapt your personal statement to suit the word count. 
Here's my example for making effective decisions. Here we go. Within the civil service, I will have a responsibility to make effective decisions that are based on facts and evidence because it is important to be able to justify my actions to the general public and to my senior managers. In a previous role, I was part of a team who were discussing the marketing options for the launch of a new company product. We needed to collaborate effectively in order to decide which marketing campaign would be best suited to the product in order to maximise sales. During the first 60 minutes of the meeting, everyone came up with different ideas based on what they felt would work best. We then started to consider our options based on the different ideas put forward and we discussed carefully the risks associated with each advertising method and the potential limitations. Now, to come up with the right advertising method, we used facts and evidence based on previous historical campaigns. And by utilising an evidence-based approach to the campaign, the product launch would have a far greater chance of succeeding. Throughout the team discussions, I kept reminding everyone of the importance of focusing on the core objectives and to always make decisions that were based on facts and evidence as opposed to gut feeling. Once we had decided on the right strategy to use, we launched the product with confidence. The launch was so successful that other teams within the organisation use the same method for their own product launches. And that personal statement comes up to 246 words, so I've counted it all out. So that, again, provides a situation that I was in where I am proving that I can make effective decisions that are based on facts and evidence, and the result is successful. So that's an important civil service success profile behaviour called making effective decisions. Let's now move on to the next success profile behaviour, and that is communicating and influencing. Now, another of the civil service success profile behaviours is that of communicating and influencing. And within your chosen civil service job, you must communicate with clarity and purpose and always respect the needs, views, and opinions of others. So we need to demonstrate that within our personal statement. So here's my example to help you. Here we go. The need to communicate and influence effectively within the civil service is important because without these essential competencies, a high quality service cannot be delivered to the public whom you are serving. It is also important to remember that communication is a two-way process and you must respect the needs and opinions of others. When communicating, I will always consider carefully what it is I want to say, I will consider the needs, views and opinions of others, and I will be respectful at all times. For example, whilst working in a previous role, I often had to communicate with team members, customers and stakeholders within the organisation. One particular situation comes to mind where I was dealing with a customer complaint on the telephone. I listened carefully to the customer and I gave them time to speak and explain their situation. I then started to resolve the complaint by being confident, by directing the conversation to where I needed it to go, and by being passionate and enthusiastic about the new level of service they were going to receive from me moving forward. At all times, while speaking to the customer, I focused on their needs. I asked them clarifying and probing questions, and I managed to influence them that my proposed resolution was in their best interests. Within this civil service role, I will always act as a positive role model for the organisation and I will communicate with clients and members of the public with professionalism, respect and enthusiasm. And that is bang on 250 words. So you can see there that what I'm doing at the start of the personal statement example, I am outlining my understanding of this important civil service success profile behaviour, communicating and influencing. And I'm then giving an example, a specific example. I'm providing evidence of where I have met this behaviour already in the past. The next one is working together. So teamwork is absolutely vital when working in the civil service. Now, regardless of the position you are applying for, working with others must be demonstrated within your application and on your personal statement. So within your personal statement, demonstrate you can work effectively with other people, both within your team and with external stakeholders or contractors. And again, I'm going to give you one that is 250 words maximum. So let's take a look at my own example, civil service personal statement for this success profile behavior working together. Here we go. Being someone who enjoys working alongside other people to achieve challenging tasks and projects, 
I understand the importance of effective teamwork and collaborative working within the civil service. Without the input from different people who possess varying experiences and beliefs, an organisation cannot achieve its full potential. In a previous role, I was often required to work with other people to form productive partnerships that enable my employer to achieve its goals. For example, I recently had to work on a project with four other people from different departments within the company to create a bespoke service for a client. We also had to liaise with external stakeholders and contractors on a regular basis as they would be supplying the different elements to help create the bespoke service. Everybody within the team had different levels of experience and knowledge and to ensure we utilise these effectively, everyone was encouraged to contribute in an equal manner. Throughout each team task, I would listen to my work colleagues, I would respect and value their views, and I would support all of my team members so that we collectively achieved our objectives quickly and to the necessary standard. I genuinely believe that for an organisation such as the civil service to be able to deliver a high standard of service to the public nationally, the team must be diverse in nature, and everyone must be respectful of and value each other's opinions and contributions. That is 241 words. Again, you will notice the common theme that I'm using where I'm starting out and giving them my understanding of the civil service success profile behaviour. I'm then giving them a specific example and finishing off again saying what I will do within the role. The next civil service success profile behaviour I want to cover is delivering at pace. So another one of the success profile behaviours is being able to carry out your work at a fast pace and to a high standard. So my advice is to create a personal statement that demonstrates your ability to work quickly and accurately within a work-related role. Aim to provide evidence of this success profile within the allocated word count. And I will now give you an example that's within 250 words. Here we go. Delivering at pace. Working for an organisation such as a civil service requires the ability to carry out your duties to a high standard and on time. It will be vital that I deliver my work exactly as detailed by my manager and to a standard that is expected by the public. Value for money is crucial in all public service organisations and I am confident that I possess the necessary skills, qualities and attributes to consistently achieve this. In a previous role, I always had to deliver my work at pace. Not only was this the expected standard, but my manager was a hard worker who believed in completing as much work as possible during the working day. A situation arose during one particular week where a colleague of mine had gone off sick at short notice, meaning someone else in the team had to pick up their workload. I volunteered to be that person, and after I'd received a brief from my manager, I set to work completing her tasks as well as my own. Now, to make sure everything was completed in a timely manner and to the required standard, I created a priority list of tasks based on urgency levels. I then made sure I had no distractions before focusing on working through each task methodically to the necessary standard and on time. And at the end of the week, my manager praised me for my strong performance and he thanked me for working to the necessary speed and standard. That word count, again, is spot on 250 words. Now, you don't need to get it exact to the word count. That's a maximum word count. But don't go too far under. I would always be aiming, if the word count was 250, to anywhere from 240 words to 250. You will notice there at the end of that personal statement, I'm saying that at the end of the week, my manager praised me for strong performance. Wherever possible, give examples that highlight you for creating really strong work, where you've been praised, for example. That, those, in my opinion, are good examples to give. The next one, the next civil service success profile is developing self and others. So taking responsibility for your own development and the development of others within your team is a vital aspect of all civil service roles. Now, if you are required to write a personal statement that demonstrates your ability of developing self and others, provide a specific example within 250 words of where you are focused on this important success profile. And here's my own example, developing self and others. This is within 250 words. Here we go. I am a strong believer that for an organisation to continually be effective and to deliver the high standard of service that is expected, its employees must be open to continuous professional development and improvement. In addition to developing their own skills and qualities, they must be supportive of the organisation in its pursuit of change and improvement. 
In a previous role, my manager asked for volunteers to attend an external development course that would help the team improve its sales performance targets over the forthcoming year. Being someone who is keen to improve and develop, I agreed to attend the course with three other members of staff. Now, the, talk, the course took place over a two-week period, and during that time, I listened to the tutor, I took notes, and I passed the relevant examination with high scores. When I returned to my team, I immediately started to implement what I had learned into my daily working routine, and I could instantly see the results. My performance in respect of sales improved dramatically, as well as my ability to provide outstanding customer service. Four weeks after I had returned from the course, my manager spoke to me in person to praise me for helping the team to increase its sales revenues for the month. I am a proactive learner and developer, and whenever there is an opportunity to either develop myself or my team, I will take on the task with enthusiasm and determination. 243 words. So that's another example of where I have been praised by my manager. So my manager has asked for volunteers to attend a course that helps me to improve and will then in turn help the organisation grow and develop. I've undertaken the course with diligence and professionalism, passed the exam, and then I've immediately come back to the organisation and implemented what I had learnt and the results have been positive. So that's a really good example, in my opinion, of a great personal statement, a civil service personal statement for the success profile of developing self and others. The next one is managing a quality service. This is a difficult one. Now, the civil service has a strong reputation for managing and delivering a quality service. In my opinion, the civil service often comes under um, unjustified criticism. I think they're a brilliant organisation. They are under a lot of pressure, but they always, in the majority of cases, deliver to a very high standard. Having personally worked in the civil service, in the fire service, it's a very difficult organisation to be in because you are under lots of pressure, but you have to always focus on delivering a brilliant service. And I think they do a commendable job. So regardless of the department you are hoping to join within the civil service, there is a strong possibility you will be assessed against this important success profile. Again, provide a solid 250 word personal statement that gives evidence of where you have taken control of the delivery of a fantastic service to meet the needs of a customer or client, for example. Here we go. Managing a quality service. Over the years, I have gained considerable experience in delivering high quality service to clients and customers for various employers. I fully understand and appreciate that for an organisation to be successful from a commercial, financial and operational perspective, the service provided must always be to a high standard within the set budget and to the expectations that have been set by the client or the customer. In a previous role, I was working with five other team members, delivering an important project for a long-standing client. We were required to build a new e-commerce website for them that was complex, detailed and technically challenging. Partway through the project, the client changed their mind in regard to various specifications of the project, yet they still expected the project to be completed within the initial allocated time frame. I spoke to the other team members and I recommended we worked additional hours late each evening in the build-up to the project completion date to get the website completed as requested. It was important that we showed the client we could still deliver a quality service despite the altering specifications. And at the end of the project deadline, we managed to fully complete and deliver an outstanding e-commerce website for the client who thanked us for our hard work, our determination and our resilience. Regardless of the challenge, I can be relied upon to still deliver a high quality service on time and to the necessary standard whilst working in the service. And that one is 248 words. So you can see again, I am using the exact same theme, giving them my understanding of the civil service success profile behavior, and I'm then giving them a specific example. And that's important because anybody can stand there and say, I can deliver a quality service. I will always work hard. I will always listen to customers or clients. But actually giving them evidence is really important. So you have to give an evidence-based situation. The next one is leadership. Now, leadership is about demonstrating pride and passion for delivering service within an organisation. So are you able to value other people's opinions and ensure your team is diverse in nature so that the expectations and needs of the customers are met? If so, then you probably have what it takes to meet the civil service success profile behaviour of leadership. Here's my example personal statement to help you. Leadership. Being a strong, committed and confident leader, 
I understand there is a requirement within this role to direct and influence others to achieve the national objectives of the civil service, to provide evidence of my ability to lead. In a previous role, I was required to manage and direct a team of people to achieve difficult and challenging projects on a recurring basis. When I first joined the team as their leader, I was concerned as to the lack of direction and motivation within the team. And so I started setting concise team values, creating action plans and conducting performance reviews for all members of staff that were designed to get us where we needed to be. Although some team members were initially reluctant to the changes I was implementing, I persevered and influenced them to believe my chosen course of action was the right one for our long-term goals and the organisation's core mission. At all times, I ensured team members had the same opportunities in respect of career advancement, and I often asked everyone for their opinion on how the team could move forward and achieve its objectives. By involving my team members in the action plan execution process and by valuing their views and opinions, we were able to consistently achieve our goals. More often than not, we were praised by senior management for our ability to deliver projects within very tight deadlines. And as a leader within the civil service, I will consistently deliver on my objectives. Word count, exactly 250 words. That's another great example of demonstrating one of the civil service success profile behaviours. And in this case, it's leadership. Now, the next thing to do is make sure you click that link in the top right hand corner of the video right now. Head over to my website, passmyinterview.com, where you can download my full set of nine civil service personal statement examples, all of the ones that I've covered within this presentation. Also... Don't forget to check out the videos I've put in the description below this video. I have created videos, tutorial videos on how to pass the civil service interview. So make sure you check those out. Again, I've put the links in the description below the video. It's worthwhile watching those because they will really help you to prepare effectively for your civil service interview, regardless of the job you are going for. I hope you've enjoyed that. Don't forget to subscribe. As I said, we have over half a million subscribers now. Lots of you are passing your job interviews as a result of the content. You can connect with me on LinkedIn. My LinkedIn link is in the description below the video. And finally, please do give the video a thumbs up because that just motivates me to create more for you. A lot of hard work goes into creating these videos and I would appreciate your support. Thank you very much and I wish you all the best for creating a brilliant civil service personal statement. Have a brilliant day.